hello hello once again i planned on making this video a vlog at the beginning but this week has turned out so differently than i planned so i think this is just going to be a little spring update video and i'll just show you a little bit of what i'm currently working on uh, recent things i've finished i actually have a tiny bit of a haul so actually i'll start with that and then i'll show you some things that i have been working on recently everything i'm about to show you i got from daiso i think that if you're looking for some little things to add to your projects and you haven't considered daiso if you live in a state that has it um or, or a country that has it actually um they have some really good options so first i've got this little mix cake i think i've shown some of these before this one is um, made up of a bunch of pink colors see if I could get it to focus on the pink instead. This one has some variations of pink. Um, the lighting might make it look a little bit different, but it's definitely lighter in person than it is on video uh, from what I'm seeing in my camera. I like working with these. I've made a couple of scarves already. Um, I think I've brought up one of them in a previous video if you want to go see how that turned out. Uh, and so I was thinking of I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Honestly, I saw the color. I needed to have it. I got uh, one more of these. It's definitely going to be enough to make a hat, but I was thinking of trying something with cables for the first time, which brings me to my next thing. But I got some cable needles from Daiso. I've been looking for them for a while, going back and forth between, I don't know, trying to order some online or maybe looking at the ones that they had at Michael's, but waiting until I had a coupon. And then I saw them at Daiso and I was like, two dollars <laughs> i'll just get them here <laughs> i'm a little nervous about it i've never made anything with cables before i'm sure once i get into the swing of things it's not going to be as hard as it seems my focus is going <laughs> right here instead for some reason <laughs> he's not back yet <laughs> come on i'm right here camera i'm right here anyway um but yeah i was thinking of maybe trying to make a hat with cables with this yarn I don't know. I, th I think it would be pretty cute. I saw a pattern for heart cables. I thought it would be so precious. Um, so I'll see if I can do that because it would look nice in all pink, I think. And just watching it, oh, that rhymed. <laughs> just watching it work up with the different uh, color changes. It looks really nice if you knit it. Um, and it does look really nice when it's crocheted. It's just that from the one knit scarf that I made for my mom with this type of yarn, uh, the color changes were just so pretty, so lovely, especially when it follows all um, pretty much the same colors. So yeah, that's my sort of plan for this. It's a very loose plan. Then I've just got some buttons that I thought were really cute. Uh, they're very like pastel soft colors if this would care to focus. There we go. Yeah, so I just thought they were really pretty. Do I know what I'm gonna use these for quite yet? No, but <laughs> they're nice to have. Honestly, I just can't resist the colors. I love colorful things if you can't tell. <laughs> then I've just got some cloth that I picked up. Uh, this is enough for me to make a book sleeve and line it with this. Like it's just enough to line the sleeve. That'll fit a standard hardcover, young adult hardcover. Um, adult hardcovers are just a little bit taller, but yeah, this fits perfectly. So I have this checkered one and I've also got these two plain solid colors. So I've got this pink because I just, I love pink. <laughs> and then this colored because it reminded me of shiny. I was kind of thinking of making a shiny bag, uh, but I don't know. Cause I've already got, I'll show you what I have. <laughs> I'm looking to get a new one soon uh, with more space, but this is my current dedicated shiny bag with all of my like pins and accessories in there i definitely want to put more things in here but i also want it to be <laughs> like their color also uh but i thought i would share because surprising number of shiny fans have found my channel and you don't know how happy and relieved i am for this <laughs> thank you for being here anyway so the cloth moving on so we can kind of tie it into the pink cloth that i got um also from daiso but i don't have the packaging but i got these zippers uh, these were really small, cute little zippers. Uh, there was one in the pink one, one in blue, and one in yellow, I think. So if you follow my Instagram, you probably saw the day that I figured out that I could crochet straight into these. I didn't think it was possible, but if you use a small enough hook, and I was using like one or two millimeters, the hook will go straight through. I, I'd seen it in some YouTube videos, but I don't know, I guess part of me thought they were using like a special kind of zipper or something. No, like this 
it'll go straight through um, and you can crochet right into it. So I made some pouches, uh, one for my grandmother, one for my mom. My grandmother obviously has the one that I made for her, but I have mom's right here. So I'll show you what I use this for. Ta-da, this is mom's little pouch with the zipper on top. Actually, let me put this down. Yeah, so it just unzips. Uh, I crocheted straight into it. Let's see if I can focus so you could see it. You can see right here, I just went straight into uh, the zipper and just built it down, out, <laughs> I guess, around it. And I will preface this by saying it's not entirely done, as you can see, because I still have to sew these in. <laughs> um, but I, I made this super quick in like two or three hours. Um, and it was a sort of like regulation thing for my, my brain. Uh, and it just so happened that mom saw the pouch that I made for my grandmother and was like, I want one. So that's how I've been playing around with the small zippers. This is the only one that I have left um, of the little ones, but I also have these larger ones, longer ones. These are Hello Kitty zippers and I was in awe when I saw them. Uh, so I've already opened this one, so I'll just uh, go ahead and take one out to show you. These are the only varieties that they had and so I just grabbed both of them because again, $2. So for comparison with the length, but as you can see, this one at the zipper where you pull it has the little Hello Kitty motif, which I think is just so cute. Which brings me back to the pink cloth. Um, so I was thinking since this is a little bit longer that I could maybe make a cute pink bag with the white zipper for contrast. I've still got plenty of pink yarn left over from when I made that granny square bag. And so I was thinking of using the two shades of pink that I have to just kind of make somewhat of a granny bag like going back and forth between the colors like i did with the pouch uh between light pink and a darker pink um until it's just big enough to have this at the top so it'll zip closed um and yeah the bag will be like that that wide not that big but just like a cute little bag to have around and then i could line it with the pink cloth that you saw so i'll just have <laughs> pink everything um i'll figure out what to do with the other colors of this zipper but that was my first instinct with this once i saw that pink cloth Anyway, so that's my little Daiso haul. Again, you should definitely go and check and see if there's anything that they might have at your local one because I know that the stock changes from store to store, um, but anytime I pass one, I just have to go in and just see what they have in their crafting section um, because you never know. They've got like lots of things that you could just attach to your projects and make them extra cute. So that's what I've picked up recently in the last couple weeks. And again, the pouch was one of the things that I made with the zipper that I picked up. So I'm gonna move on into some other things that I have been working on recently, um, which is not a lot. I have one finished project and then one that I'm currently working on, which is the one I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, it's a baby blanket that I'm working on for some friends who are going to have a baby shower in April. That being said, if you are that friend and you know who you are, you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. Don't spoil the surprise. Uh, you'll see it when you see it. Anyway, for everybody else who's not having a baby shower in April, <laughs> wow, it's wider than I thought. Uh, this baby blanket. I've shown a similar pattern before I was working on like a rainbow version, which I've stopped <laughs> in the meantime. Um, I don't know what I would call this stitch or what if what it's called if it has a name, uh, but yeah, it's really pretty how it's been working up. Made by a single and a double crochet in the same stitch and then you skip the next one and then do single and double in the same stitch after that and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. Um, and yeah, you get this really pretty pattern. Um, but I am almost <laughs> at the end of this. This is about... 30 something rows I think I have my notes somewhere in the other room So I went to Michael's earlier today, which you saw in the intro of this video and I got some more yarn for this That'll hopefully take me uh, At least to the end of the main body and then uh, I think there's a border to be added I will put the tutorial in the description that I'm following for this video uh, for this blanket um, same for the pouch as well I'll put the link to that in the description in case you wanted to make one yourself because it's such a quick workup but I love love how this is turning out uh, it feels really nice the rainbow one that I was working on was with the same yarn that I used to make this blouse shirt thing <laughs> um, which is half acrylic half cotton I think this does feel nice especially knit um, and it felt okay for the blanket but this this is specifically, um, I think it was Burnett Softy Baby, um, and it just feels really nice. I'm hoping to get it even softer before I gift it to them. But this is my current project. 
Uh, it's perfect because I don't have to think as much when I'm working on it. It's what I'm taking with me currently to uh, the knitting club that I'm a part of because keeping track of my notes for this is a lot easier uh, than something more complicated which would probably distract me like if I'm having conversation with somebody else and I don't want to have to explain like why I can't remember things. <laughs> two seconds after I've thought them or as I'm thinking them. So this is the perfect project for me at the moment. Um, it's fairly quick, I think, and I should be done with this soon. So as for the project that I finished, I mentioned it uh, in a couple of videos, I think, that I said I wanted to do a hexagon cardigan. My intention had been to vlog a little bit of it or get some video evidence of me working on it. That didn't happen and I have it completed right here. I'll just put it on. It might be a little strange with the uh, rainbow sweater because it's also very colorful, but this is the completed cardigan. Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> I'll turn around. I haven't taken any proper pictures yet, but hopefully I'll be able to do that soon so that you get a better idea of what it looks like. I hope this goes without saying, but the tutorial for this will also be in the description box if you want to try making one yourself. It was so easy, so fast. The basic premise of a hexagon cardigan, if you don't already know, is that you make two big hexagons uh, and then you fold over two corners and two opposite corners and it should make the shape automatically. So you've got the sleeves and then the body and then you just put those two together. Of course you will have to make some adjustments for uh, the in-between space so that you're not like bundled up like this, like you have room for your neck. Um, so as you can see, mine starts right here under the arm and you can see where it goes um, outward. At some point I stopped somewhere around here. Um, I might have stopped uh, because it fit perfectly around my arm and then I just continued outward until I got the length of the sleeve I wanted and added the cuffs. Uh, did the same to the other side, of course. The length of the cardigan had to be adjusted as well because, uh, let's see if you can see where it ends. Yeah, you can see the shape um, with the corners and then it ends at a certain point. I will take this off and hold it up. Um, I'm aware that like, <laughs> if this isn't ideal. I just don't have enough space for me to position the camera further back so that you can see my full body. But uh, yeah, so I just uh, adjusted the length um, until it was as long as I wanted and then went around in single crochet and made the um, like neck part and the, I forgot what this is called, but <laughs> you know, down here. I didn't add any buttons and I didn't keep going so that I would be able to like close it because I figured since it's the granny pattern, um, there's space for <laughs> air to come through in the first place. So my idea is that this is more of just something you throw over your shoulders um, on a nice like breezy day when you're not exactly feeling cold, but you just want that slight extra layer of protection. Um, so I didn't think it made any sense to want to close it because it would do <laughs> very little in my opinion, um, but also because I just didn't want to add buttons. <laughs> As promised, I'll take it off so that you can actually see a little bit more of it. Here's the back uh, and the bottom. I just joined the panels with a couple of extra rows um, and then I stitched them together here so you could see where they're joined or at least, I don't know, I can see them. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could see them too but you could see where it's joined together. Um, I really loved the video that I used to make this because it walks you through how to do it and make it all look seamless without actually having to like sew anything. Once again, <laughs> I've said it before but sewing is like my biggest enemy so uh, it was nice to be able to just work on this and have a pattern that makes everything look like it just kind of like blends together seamlessly. But yeah, I love this. I love this so much. Um, it's warmer than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's also, I'm just gonna put it on backwards. It is part acrylic and part cotton. The cotton part's really soft. I think it would be great if I could knit something up with this. I mean, I am with the, the same kind of yarn, but it's gonna be a blanket for my mom. But this is the perfect balance so far. Um, I get a little bit chilly sometimes uh, in the apartment and I don't wanna put on like a full sweater. So I'll just kind of throw this on. Um, it's hard to explain the exact kind of weather, the exact situation that I would need this in, but I know exactly <laughs> what I need this over a different sweater or cardigan, and it's just perfect, perfect, perfect balance. <laughs> so that is my most recent completed project item thing. <laughs> And that is it for my current update. Uh, I'm so happy that it's spring, finally. I think the weather is gonna go 
down a little bit starting next week but this week the past few days have just been so good so very needed and i'm feeling so good because of it oh also side note on my mental health blanket video a lot of people in the comments recommended the app dailyo and i have been using it since the start of the year i have not missed a day yet because i have it alert me every night at the same time uh, to track my day. I was joking with my therapist that if I looked back in Dalio because I, my mood has been in the like neutral high zone um, for for more often than not like this is <laughs> quite uncommon for me um, and she was like yeah I bet that started around daylight savings time <laughs> and I was like yeah <laughs> that's probably right. I'm looking at it right now and it looks like it was actually a little bit before then which is great news to me um but i'm hoping that daylight savings and just having more sunlight in general and spring my favorite season is just going to elevate everything a lot more and i hope that that's the case for you too especially um for those who struggle with seasonal affective disorder um seasonal depression just need for the sun overall um i hope that things are looking up for you i hope that if you're working on your mental health blanket that you're reaching for the high colors more often than not and that even if you're not reaching for the higher colors you can still appreciate the beautiful thing that you're making um i'm really really excited <laughs> every time somebody like tags me in a progress photo you could literally make the entire thing out of your worst like lowest colors and i would still think it's the most beautiful thing i've ever laid eyes on um and i really appreciate whenever people tag me in them so that i can see them uh, it just makes me so happy to see i love seeing everybody's work to be honest i kind of go through the mental health blanket hashtag every once in a while and i like look through all of them so even if you don't tag me i'll probably see it just because i really can't resist looking um and everybody is just making such really lovely wonderful blankets it makes me really happy to see seriously even though i know i don't like post a lot here or instagram or just like anywhere um i do see everything like i try to read all of the comments even if i respond super late i'm so sorry um and look at all of the photos <sighs> i love it so much if you decided to work on the blanket i hope you are having a great time with it even if you didn't i also hope you're having a great time with all of your projects i hope that spring is treating you well if you're in the northern hemisphere which i think most of my viewers are um <laughs> but either way i hope you're doing well and hopefully i'll see you soon with a vlog fingers crossed <laughs> Take care. Bye.